I saw two of them when they went to the last four and the things they wanted. And I went over to that and the guy was like pulling off the fence, but it was like a love it. And his mate was like helping pull it down and I uh, I stopped. Are we all back? Well, apart from I know it's awkward, isn't it? Only one, only one toilet, and everybody looking at you. Never mind. Men with the weak prostate—they were, they were the problem, weren't they? Holding that queue up, but they're all right. They've gone and sat back down now. It made me—I've um, got to be honest—it made me laugh. Like Ben thinking he's old at 44. That's just bloody ridiculous, isn't it? Because I'm, I'm 65 this year. And I hate it because as you get older, like things happen. Like, and I've got I've got arthritis now in both hands, which which isn't good. And I thought I need to do something to strengthen my hands. What are you doing? Sorry, man. You're just getting in the way, aren't you? What are you getting on? I'm getting these. So I went on Amazon and I thought I'll get these hand stretching exercises. They're great, you know. They're five ninety nine each. And you do stupid things when you get older. Five ninety nine each. Or you could have three for sixteen ninety nine. <laughs> so I bought three. <laughs> you do other stupid things. You take your dog walking down Elmore Lane on a Sunday. Past Catch a Smile. Do we all know Catch a Smile down the lane? Heckled by a female. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? And you walk in having a nice peaceful walk on a Sunday afternoon with your dog and you spot a goat in the hedge. The same goat you spotted a week before, but that time that goat didn't come out into the road. Sunday, he comes out into the road and he's quite a big goat. Well, everything's big to me, to be honest. With you. <laughs> he's like up here. And Catch a Smile don't have a phone number on their sign. So I had to Google it, and I Googled it, and I got their phone number, and I phoned a bloke. I said, your goat's outside. And he said, what, again? I said, so he, this must be a regular occurrence. I said, yeah, he's on the road. I'm stopping traffic, stopping being run over. He said, I'm only just inside. I'll be out in a minute. All right, he said, can you wait there? So I go, yeah, yeah, we'll wait. So I'm here. The goat's sort of there, nibbling on the hedge. Lynn and Murphy are back here. The bloke comes out, he goes to grab the goat, it takes off down Elmore Lane towards the river. So he goes up behind it and he's now shooing it up the road and it starts trotting, I think is a fair, fair description. And I'm waiting by Catch a Smile, he's halfway down Elmore Lane and he shouts, when it gets near, grab its horns! <laughs> Are you fucking sick? Just grab its horns, it'll be fine! Alright, okay. So this goat comes up, and you see he's quite big like this. So I grabbed it by the horns. Because when you're stupid and old, that's what you do. The goat started running up the lane, dragging me back towards the canal bridge. I finally got him stopped on the corner, and I dragged him back. And the bloke went, oh, thanks for that, mate. I said he started running. He went, yeah, he always does that when you grab his horns. What? <laughs> Doing this gig, you sometimes get stopped by the police and um, come, actually it was a gig in, in the forest in Lydney and I got stopped on the way back. I got pulled over in Huntley by the police. It was about 20 past 12 at night and I pulled over and a policeman come round and I got out in the car and said, do you know why I've stopped you? I went, no, your number plate's dirty. I can't read it. Sorry? He said, your number plate's dirty and I can't read it. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, I got a cloth, wiped it, there you go, it's clean now. Yeah, but that's not the point, is it? He said, it is an offence to have a dirty number plate. I said, are you taking the piss? Shouldn't you be out catching proper criminals? That's the wrong thing to say. <laughs> Can I smell weed, sir? No. No, you can't. You can't smell weed. Well, I think I can. So under section 24 of the Road Traffic Act, Chapter 3, paragraph 9, I can now search your car. Search my car, you won't find anything. And he did. He searched the car. And he came out with this. He said, what's that? I said, it's a stick. 
He said, I can see it's a stick, what's it for? I said, it's for my dog. He said, your dog? I said, yeah. I throw it, he fetches it, he brings it back. <laughs> Are you familiar with that concept? <laughs> he said, I am familiar with that concept. He said, uh, interesting. I said, not really, it's just a stick. He said, no, it's interesting, because it's got no teeth marks on it. Oh, shit. That's because he's a toothless dog. <laughs> what? I said, he's a toothless dog. He said, you've got a toothless dog? Yeah. Have you got a picture of him? You know, on my phone, in the car. He said, get your phone. I've got the phone. I'm quickly Googling toothless dogs. <laughs> I come out. I said, there you go. He's done exactly the same. He's got his phone now. <laughs> Is this your dog? Because yeah. mm. this dog's a rescue in Portugal. Yeah, I know, we rescued him. <laughs> what? I said, we rescued him. He said, but he's in Portugal. I said, well, he is now. We had to send him back. <laughs> Why? Oh, he won't very well. He said, what was the matter with him? I said, well, and you'll find this hard to believe. The first time I threw a stick for him, he went to get it and all his teeth fell out. <laughs> He said, this is getting ridiculous. You're the fucking one who stopped me, so... <laughs> the worst thing I've done... We had to go down to Cribs Causeway last weekend do a bit of shopping in m and And Lynn went off looking at the women's stuff, as she does. She'd gone for hours. And um, I was waiting outside the changing room. And this lady came out. A little bit on the large side, I've got to be honest. And, and she looked straight at me. She said, what do you think? And I've always been told to be honest. I said, well, to be honest, you look like an overweight aubergine. <laughs> and she said, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to my six foot four husband who stood behind you. Um, <laughs> slightly awkward. So, are you ready for your second act of the evening? <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen this guy for about 20 years. We last gigged in the Guild Hall in Gloucester, which was a long time ago, Rob, wasn't it? It was a long time ago. Um, so his name is Rob Coleman, and again, if we can start the applause at the back of the room, just give it up for the very lovely Rob Coleman, bring it all the way through.